Hello world and welcome back to my channel Honza's Collection and today I would like to show you Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 from the company Diamond Select. And as you can see right from the beginning, uh, this time we have much better uh, box art than uh, usually with uh, Diamond Select because here you can see all the uh, most important characters from the movie and you can see uh, the actors themselves uh, so here is Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, Zoe Saldana as uh, Gamora uh, over here we have uh, Dave Bautista as, uh, as Drax and then obviously uh, Rocket uh, and his voice actor is uh, Bradley Cooper and the same goes with Groot, where his voice actor is Vin Diesel. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, let's let's see what is right here. And here we can see only some colors, uh, nothing really special here. Uh, then over here at the top, it's pretty much the same as in the front. Here you can see that I've bought this at uh, Comics Point, which is a, a Czech local store, uh, and I've bought this for almost 1700 Czech crowns. Uh, down at the bottom you can see the Guardian's logo, and here it's the same. Uh, but the most uh, interesting part is right here, uh, because as you can see, uh, there is also available a statue from Diamond Select, uh, which is sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios, and that is uh, Drax uh, together with uh, Baby Groot. And over here you can see Gamora together with Rocket. And I have to say that uh, when I first bought this statue, it was almost like a three or four years ago. Uh, that was back in the days when I started collecting statues uh, from Marvel. So I didn't know much uh, about the whole culture. Uh, but I knew that I want to collect uh, Guardians of the Galaxy because it is one of the best Marvel movies in my humble opinion. So I really wanted to complete this set. So I was uh, at Comics Point basically almost every week searching for these two pieces right here. Uh, but uh, unfortunately they never had them. Or if they did, uh, they had to be sold very quickly uh, because I never had a chance to buy these these guys. Uh, so unfortunately, Star Lord is uh, until now the only uh, guardian which I have from this collection, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, uh, then I moved on. Uh, so. I will show you the reason uh, why I'm uh, selling this guy today. Actually, that's the reason why I'm uh, doing this video today, because I wanted to show you guys what is not going to be available in my collection anymore. Uh, so without further ado, let's get uh, inside and let's take a closer look uh, what this guy is all about. So here we have Star-Lord himself, but I will still give him away for a second because I want to show you that uh, we also have uh, this, this piece right here. So you can see here what kind of uh, PVC figures you can get uh, from Diamond Select Company. So as you can see here is Captain Marvel, uh, Lady Thor, Lady Deadpool. And it's a, it's a different piece than uh, than which you could find in the previous videos uh, with previous Diamond Select statues which I've showed you before. So for example here you can see Medusa, uh, which was definitely not there before. Uh, and uh, here is a Beautiful Hulk. Uh, I have different version from Endgame, I will show you a video with him uh, one day. 
and here is a very nice statue from Gentle Giant Studios uh, of Ant-Man and even though that I have Ant-Man from Diamond Select I have different version uh, from Ant-Man and Wasp uh, this is the first one if I'm not mistaken and I have to say it looks pretty impressive uh, if I would be able to get him somewhere I would go for it uh, so that's how beautiful he is um, and then from the other side you can see a few more statues so you have here Thor, Wolverine, Rogue, Spider-Gwen and Gamora and all these characters as you can see are uh, let's say from comic books themselves uh, it's not like they are not trying to replicate the movies here uh, so that's how they looked in some of the comic books right so that was a small advertisement uh, but now let's take a closer look at uh, star lord himself so uh, first of all i have to say that this pose uh, is uh, pretty accurate uh, to the movie and it's uh, it's very nicely done uh, it looks like it has been just taken from some action scene from the movie which is uh, which is very good in my opinion and um, you can see that uh, this star lord has uh, this helmet piece right here uh, but uh, if you will search uh, maybe a little bit better you can also find the piece uh, which is without the helmet so there is a head sculpt and uh, i saw this piece and i have to say that the likeness with chris pratt as the actor of star lord is uh, definitely not bad uh, especially if you will compare him with the rest of the diamond select uh, statues so if you are preferring faces then definitely go for him because for a reasonable price you can get very nice statue uh, so then as you can see uh, we have this iconic blasters so you can see some details on the hands uh, so you can see that he has uh, some nails but on the other hand the fingers are all like glued together uh, so it could be better but yeah we are talking about a piece of plastic right it's uh, still a statue so because it's a diamond so like you don't have any uh, swap out pieces you don't have any accessories here you don't have a uh, regular head sculpt uh, here and uh, yeah so it's just this standalone piece uh, so yeah that's what you get uh but you are not paying too much so i still think it's a, it's a good value for uh for your money and uh, for example over here you can see the rest of his hair uh so that's pretty nice detail it's uh, definitely a good thing that they um uh, realized that it would be a good thing to add some hairs down there uh even though that you will not usually see that and uh, you can also see that even though that it's from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, he's not wearing uh, his big coat, uh, which he wears at the beginning of the movie. Here he has uh, the, um, like, let's say, more fit version of, uh, of the coat. And uh, down here you can see some nice details. So, for example, here he has the like small piece which holds uh, his blasters if he's not using them that's a nice touch then you can see the boots uh, also I think that they look quite stunning and we cannot forget about this piece right here Mr. Jetpack uh, because the effect which this does is uh, absolutely stunning uh, I believe that you will agree with me that having it like this like this is this is really nice effect and 
it's it's very accurate to the movie and uh, you can you can see that if his jetpack would would do such a kind of effect then it is um, easier for you to believe that this jetpack can actually hold the whole body up and that he can fly with it uh, so i think that uh, this is really something extraordinary and uh, also obviously thanks to that uh, he can stand uh, without any issues so you don't have to worry that uh, he would like uh, fall down from from here or, or anywhere else uh, so it's a really good piece uh, and then you have the base and it's it's the same from all sides as you can see and the base is basically my only complaint here uh, because uh, in my opinion it's just too big it could be much smaller uh, but it's too big and if you have uh, sometimes some problems with space uh, in your display you will definitely have it with with this piece right here because even though that Chris himself is a is a shorter guy uh, and then uh, you have this huge piece down here so you will not be able to put too many statues on your display if you are having him standing like this so that might be the only problem which you can get but other than that i think it's still a very very nice piece for a reasonable price and especially if you will be luckier than me and you will get other statues from guardians of the galaxy then there is nothing else to to think about so why am i selling this piece let me show you all right this is the reason why because uh, here you can see on the right uh, Chris Pratt as a action figure not a statue anymore from Hot Toys uh, this one is from Infinity War and uh, as you can see it's much much better uh, you can see that the the coat is uh, from some leather style material uh, here this is like uh, a regular style pants with with like i don't know what kind of material is this uh but uh, it definitely looks better that's <laughs> that's the main argument here you can see much more details so for example here you can see uh these small badges uh he also has this these blasters uh, with this piece which which holds them he has a plenty of accessories he has a display stand uh, and because it's a stature fig it's an action figure you can articulate whatever you want so i'm usually having him holding gamora and uh, leaning towards uh, kissing to each other as as you can remember from the sea uh, from the scene from the movie sorry for the spoilers um, so yeah this is obviously so much better you can see also that even the boots are better right so if you have a piece like this you know why why to keep a uh, second star lord in your collection if i would have infinite space then i would keep them both but uh, if i would have to choose which i have to then obviously i would go for hot toys as you can imagine he's much more uh, expensive than uh, the one from diamond select it's actually like six times more but uh, i think it's worth it and uh, i was already lucky enough to be to uh, get uh, hot toys uh, gamora rocket groot uh, stanley so and also nebula uh, so this collection is almost complete i'm still waiting to get uh, drugs somewhere and yondu so now i believe that 
that uh, it's it makes much more sense to to have him in my display than uh, this guy on the left. Uh, but if you are not collecting hot toys, if your budget for uh, action figures or statues is lower than mine, uh, then you don't have to think about anything, uh, just buy this piece, because uh, he's still very good uh, and uh, it makes perfect sense to, to have him in your display, uh, even though if he has uh, a mask here, you can get him without a mask, up to you. So, yeah, that's all I can say for today. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, in case that you have uh, liked or disliked this video, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, that's all. So, I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.